This is basically what the U.S. Supreme Court looks like right now. They've put up all these fences around the Supreme Court, and it's primarily because of the people. Some of the biggest problems that America is having are related to the people. It's not necessarily that the government wants to do a lot of these things. It's just they recognize that this is what the people want. And in a democracy, which is just ruled by mob, which is just basically what America is now, and what America has been for quite some time, is just ruled by mob. And what the people want, typically the, the people get. Now, many people, of course, are upset about the right to abortion. Now, from a country standpoint, you cannot exist as a country if you are not able to replace the ranks because you need the younger people coming in to basically take care of the system of things otherwise what you end up with is demographic replacement like what you see going on in europe where the europeans were pulling from many middle eastern countries and those people did not share the same sort of um, appreciation for freedom and religious freedom religious rights and for many of the freedoms that many european women enjoy which is the ability to go to school and to, for the most part, dress the way that they choose. Because if you're a Muslim woman, they typically wear, you know, the Muslim garb and they don't take and they don't get educated. Now, America typically pulls from South America and they pull from other countries that still have a patriarchal society, it's typically Hispanics. Most Hispanics live a patriarchal lifestyle. Most of them are either Christian or I think most of them are overwhelmingly Catholic. But for the most part, many of them are Christian. And they come to this country, and of course, they want to work. That's why America pulls from them. They don't pull from Canada or from many of these other countries. But eventually, what happens is the demographic starts to change. And the narrative of the country starts to look very different. Now, when that happened, even, even Joe Biden talked about this. When Joe Biden was meeting with, like, the black representatives on Zoom, he stated this, that, you know, by, I think it was by 2050, the predominant country, the predominant individual, right, the predominant race in America is going to be Hispanic. And since Hispanics will basically be in charge because they'll be the voting base, that black people would have to get along with Hispanics because they'll be the ones who, in essence, will be what white people are today, right? So you have a lot of people that hate on white Americans and it's just because they're the dominant group. And so they want what they've built up. Right? It's just basically greed. And so every that's why all this narrative about uh, it's the white man, the white man holding me down, uh, but it's primarily welfare. And many in politics know this, but many people don't cover this. There's not enough coverage to talk about the problems that exist with welfare. And you see it. I, I've seen it firsthand dealing with many of the Native Americans here in North Dakota. Overwhelmingly, the problems that you see is just lack of motivation among the men, single motherhood, uh, alcoholism, polysubstance abuse, and obesity, di diabetics, etc. This is what you see. And this is basically what many in the black community look like. It's overwhelmingly why over 90% of all black American women vote Democrat. It has nothing to do with the slave mentality. It has to do with welfare. They would rather come under the headship of the government than come, than come under the headship of a man because a man will have more requirements, whereas a government will just say, you just have to vote for me and hope you get whatever you get. And this is what many black women settle for. And this is being expanded to many other women. And it's i.e., I've talked about this many times, that the biggest problem in America is the welfare state, and the welfare state will collapse America. And it will collapse Europe. And this is why you hence we have the Great Reset. Or what those who are in power refer to as the Great Reset. How can we build the country back better? And one of the ways that they're going to have to do that is by taking your rights away. Because rule by mob is not going to get America to where America needs to be. Otherwise, America will collapse and it will go the way of many other nations like, for example, Cuba, Venezuela. You look at Greece, when Greece collapsed, and many of the other European nations that have gone through economic collapse. And this is where we're at in the country. It's why the Russian narrative needs to remain, because the government doesn't want to take responsibility, i.e. the people, for the inflation. The government created the inflation because at the request of the people. The people didn't want to go to work. 
in other countries and especially in many other latin american countries you didn't have the ability to stay home there was no one there going to cut you a check you still had to go to work you still had to produce in places like in colombia and in mexico the best that the government could do is we'll give you some rice and we'll give you some beans and that's the best that they could do for you in america many individuals were making more money staying home than at their jobs and so obviously that is a moral hazard people would rather stay home and do nothing and get a bigger check than having to go out there and actually work but this is what the people voted for right free jabs free tests i think it's like 75 percent of all hospital care from medicaid is covered by the government it's not covered by it's not covered by the individual just look at the numbers you can google all this information is there for you most people don't pay into the system i know all these people that talk about my taxes are going up etc most most welfare and over 75 percent of everything that america spends is on welfare goes to the middle class and this is the primary problem it's the biggest voting it's the biggest voting block especially when it comes to the boomers why is it that housing is so expensive and the stock market continues to rally where is most of the boomers wealth it's in their home and it's in their 401ks primarily in the stock market and that's why you see a lot of the inflation go into those areas that's why you don't see new houses being built because most of the wealth of the boomer generation is held by in real estate and this is just the route that this is what people vote for it's not that difficult there's not some conspiracy it's just the way people vote people will vote if people can vote for free stuff they're going to vote for free stuff just look at every european country that has free health care it's shit and it's that way for a reason because that's what the people want because the people don't want to pay for it and so what can the government do because the government doesn't the government is not a business the government takes from one group and it gives to another that's all that the government does so how does the government pay for all of these wants from the people primarily women right health care is a right child care is a right housing is a right education is a right health care it, it just goes on and on and on so who's going to pay for all this stuff i.e the federal reserve that's what the government does the government prints all of this money to pay for the voting base wants and of course americans are always around here talking about the government doesn't do anything for us and i'm just like stop the cap <laughs> it's like you don't even pay anything into the system over 60 percent of americans don't over 60 percent it's like 63 percent of americans are not net taxpayers meaning that they get more from the government than they pay into the government they pull more from the system than they put into the system that's why many of these you know social security and all these things are unsustainable they're referred to as unfunded liabilities and that's what they are because there are liabilities that the government, the only thing the government can do is just print more money. They'll guarantee that you'll get X amount of dollars, but what those dollars will be worth, they cannot, they cannot tell you what they're going to be worth in the future because the people don't want to work. This is the problem. People don't want to work. They don't want to get reeducated. They, wanna get, they don't want to get reskilled. They just want the government to take care of them. And how, does that, how is that going to work moving forward? The only way that it's going to work is through tyranny. This is not like some conspiracy theory it's just the way things are unfortunately and it's primarily the people's fault if the people turned around tomorrow and said we want you to stop creating money we want you to stop with all the welfare you'd see all the censorship and nonsense go away and it's because the government has to figure out a way to preserve themselves because they know this is going to happen as you can watch by any of these protests they just turn to violence and the government knows this they know that the people will turn to violence and it just becomes the french revolution all over again and so they're trying to avoid that i.e the great reset which is what the great reset is it's not some conspiracy conspiracy about the people that there's gonna they're gonna survey you yeah, well they need to surveillance you of course because they know that the people will will create a revolution it is what it is there's no way to correct the situation that we have on hand any attempts to will be met with violence by the people because the people just don't want to be responsible and it's primarily women because women are the biggest voting block in the country and that's why many when you see stuff like this where the government says maybe you shouldn't be killing your offspring and going out there and living promiscuous lives and the normies get all riled up like what are you talking about that's my right this is where we are future not looking good for america not looking good for Americans, especially if you love freedom. There'll always be a better lifestyle waiting for you. But 
in terms of how the government might treat you is going to look very different moving forward. That's why I say have a community and if possible, go out and buy some land so that you're further away from what's going to happen. Because what's going to happen is just going to be the loss of freedom by many people or the collapse of the government. Either scenario is not going to be adventitious when it eventually all happens. It's going to, it's going to happen very shortly. This is not in a far distant, you know, not my lifetime sort of thing that's going to happen. It will happen within our lifetime, within the next few years. It is what it is, and it's the people's fault. It is overwhelmingly the people's fault. What can you do? Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Feel free to leave your comment below, and I'll check you out next time.